Hi guys! Welcome back to our science class. Congratulations for finishing the week 3. We are now on our week 4 with our quarter 2 pivot for a module. This lesson will help you understand how animals produce their offspring or their new young Doing the different activities of this lesson will direct you to describe the reproduction depending on the level and type of animals. Hello grade 5! Welcome back again to our class! Modes of reproduction in animals Animals cannot live forever. Walang forever. Like humans, animals also need to reproduce. They have also their own reproductive system that makes them able to do such life process. Most of them perform sexual reproduction involving male and female animal. In this way, extinction is prevented and diversity is maintained in nature. Producing new animals may mean food supply to other organisms. It may also signal the continuous existence of certain species. Animals have the means to increase their number through reproduction. This is to preserve their species and to help in keeping the nature balance as they interact with other animals. Different animals have unique modes of reproduction. It can be noticed that some animals can, be, can reproduce in large numbers like insects, pigs, dogs, and frogs, while some animals cannot. On the other hand, those big animals generally reproduce in fewer numbers. Most of the animals like cats, dogs, butterflies, frogs, and like and the like need a male and female to reproduce. This is called sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is a process of creating offspring with the participation of sperm cell from male parent and egg, egg cell from a fem female parent. So what is reproduction? Reproduction involves the transfer of characteristics of parents to their offspring or young. During fertilization, meeting of egg and sperm cell, genetic materials like DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, are shared by the parents to produce new organisms that may either be processing or possessing unique characteristics or having an exact copy of what the parent has. In sexual reproduction, new animal with a set of unique characteristics is produced. This means that the offspring is quite different from its parents. Sexual reproduction always involves the presence of sperm cell and egg cell. These two cells carry the genetic materials from the father and mother respectively. Dogs and cats, mosquitoes, and butterflies reproduce sexually. Among these animals, sperm and egg cells meet inside the body. This is called internal fertilization. Unlike among frogs, they also reproduce sexually, but fertilization occurs in the water or outside the body. External fertilization happens when both male and female frog release sperm and egg in the water to form fertilized eggs. Animals may also reproduce asexually. Asexual reproduction only needs one parent. Most common activities under asexual reproduction are budding and binary fission. Budding happens when a new animal is produced through outgrowth parts of the parent, like one in the picture or in the illustration. 
This is the bud part. And then it grows another as another plant. This is hydro plant or budding in hydra. Okay. Aquatic animals like hydra and jellyfish are doing this process. On the other hand, binary fission, which is performed by sea anemone, occurs when the parent animal divides into two. It means one animal or the parent results into two new individuals. In general, animals may reproduce sexually and asexually, depending on the species. Generally, higher species complex organism performs sexual reproduction while those lower species simple organism shows asexual reproduction. Different modes of asexual reproduction are body, binary fission, fragmentation, and Parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis is a form of asexual reproduction in which an egg develops into an individual without being fertilized. Fragmentation is the breaking of an individual into parts followed by regeneration. This is an example of budding. As you see in this illustration, this is a production in Hydra by body, parent Hydra, letter A, and in letter B, the number 2, developing bud, and number 3, the new bud, and number 4, new Hydra. Okay, as you can see in this illustration, it comes out from the parent Hydra, and then develop a bud. The, and then the new bud and then became a new hydra that's a budding example this is an example of binary fission this is the parent cell number one and number two the dna duplicates and number three cytoplasm divides and then they became two daughter cells. As you can see in this illustration, the one become two and then became two daughter cells. And this is an example of fragmentation. Look at this starfish. This is an example of fragmentation. And this is an example of fertilization. We humans came from fertilization process. The egg cell and the sperm cell meet together and then became a baby. Fertilization inside and outside the body are two general modes of sexual reproduction. The expected offspring may have separate, single sex or combined sexes depending on the species. Unique individual possessing different characteristics is produced in sexual reproduction because the genetic materials of the parents are blended or combined. Through the process, the offspring is taught to give sexually reproducing individuals with greater fitness to the mechanism to survive and reproduce in an unpredictable or changing environment. On the other hand, asexual reproduction produces offspring 
that are genetically identical to the parent because the, the offspring are all clones of the original parent. A single individual can produce offspring asexually and large numbers of offspring can be produced quickly. This is an example, the union, union of sperm and eggs outside the female's body. This is called external fertilization in fish. Okay, we are now on our learning task. Please refer to your pivot for a module. Thank you everyone for listening. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more video lessons. God bless. But wait, there's more.